Hello YouTube, today I'm going to give you a behind the scenes of my new filming rig. I just uh, put this one together today um, and it, I'm going to show you some of the components uh, that I've done before. So I have a regular camera tripod here. It's pretty lightweight. Pick it up. Not very heavy. Uh, probably the most heaviest thing on it is the battery pack, which this is this is uh, two lithium-ion batteries and in the lithium-ion batteries I've got the same USB adapter that I had on the other one with the little switch. Uh, I don't know if you can see the light there, but it's uh, charging now. And you can record for three or four hours with the uh, battery. And so what I decided to do is make the batteries modular so I can pull them off and charge them. I just got a piece of metal in there with a big magnet. And the big magnet just holds the batteries. So whenever I need to take it off, I can take it off. And then and currently it's uh, charging the battery. And, uh, and the phone is also attached uh, magnetically as well. So when I want to unhook the phone, I can uh, just, uh, I have a case and I got a piece of metal uh, glued to the back of this case. Um, now watch out how we do these because these have got the magnetic switch on them that uh, shuts the phone off when it senses magnetism over here. But uh, I'll go ahead and put that back on. And um, so I'm back to charging. Let's see here. Oh, you can hear the charge light come on. And um, Put the camera back on and I can rotate it. I have all my other moves. You know, just do all that. There you go. So now I got a few extra things I want to show you too. I took the same magnet uh, that I did on the top and I put it down here and I put a steel base on there too and I kind of separated it. So now you can pick um, this whole assembly up and now it's a handheld assembly. Oop, let me turn this up here so you can see. So now I've got a handhold assembly where I can just take and carry it around, and it's got my extra battery pack. And the big heavy duty magnet there is on the end. So, like for instance, let's say if I was going to go over and do a milling operation, let's go over to the mill here. Um, I can just take the magnet here and set it right on the mill. And then, uh, kind of hard to do, see both cameras, but I'll go ahead and get that turned down to where the Action's happening, and uh, there you can go. You can see it's simple, easy to do. Do the magnet base on the steel there, and uh, it's pretty solid. It's a pretty heavy duty magnet there. I mean, it does have a little bit of shake to it, um, but if you get a flatter spot, eh, I noticed that if you get a solid spot there, then you get, you know. I think that mill table's got it. But um, anyway, then I got one other thing to show you about that. So as long as you're near magnets or metal, you can, whoops. But you're also gonna pick up some stuff. Now, this is a design of my own, so I haven't uh, seen anybody else do this. We'll have to see how it works out. And the last thing I wanted to show you is like, if I'm over here at the lathe and I have to do an operation. This is just something like, this is a metal disc. Um, I like it to be flat, but right now you can just stick that there. And now I have a short tripod and I can set this up on my lathe for my lathe operations. There we go. And if I want to move, move it around, I can move it. Do another scene right there. So anyways, I wanted to show you the AUG Magnetic Universal camera mount. Sorry it's so shaky, guys. Uh, I don't spend a whole bunch of time uh, necessarily filming my camera rig, so, and I don't have any assistance right now. So anyway, I think it's a nice uh, addition, and uh, I'll, this is what I'll be using to film right now. And then uh, the camera I'm filming with now, I like I said, I always film with Android cameras, um, and so now they're all kind of universal, and the charging's all universal. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do have some really other cool videos coming up I want to show you about with behind the scenes. Some neat stuff if you're just getting into doing this and you like to do it yourself and not spend a bunch of money. Uh, I'm going to show you how to transfer files come in, in a coming up video and uh, I'll be showing you how to do uh, remote screens. So again, thank you all for watching.